521 already, and we've got a bite of breakfast here on Tasting Tucson this morning. Uh, fill up on eggs and get a little history, too. That's right. Some regulars have been coming to Frank's on Pima and Alvernon for 40 years now. That's uh, earned uh, loyalty right there, let's <laughs> say, Claire. So more than just the quality and value they get, diners also love catching up with characters like Candace, who you just saw. So she let us see how the kitchen team handles the morning rush. Stepping into Frank's, we found an empty table and pulled up a chair for longtime employee Candace Salisbury. But if you ask her what her official title is. My uh, station at this restaurant is the Food Goddess. And I've been I've here. Never heard that before, but I'm going to remember that. Well, I, nobody else has that title but me. Old photographs on the diner's walls show just how long Candace has been here serving coffee and taking orders. And on occasion, when she has time, Candace has a little fun with customers and her coworkers. I, I really like to bap them on the head with my ticket book or smack them upside the head with the menu or tell them a joke or, you know, just keep them happy. Now you might ask, what's the recipe for this kind of sustained success? On one hand, Candace credits her boss, Mark Smith, and his partners for steering this ship since the early 80s. The other factor? buying quality ingredients and keeping the menu prices low. Try to keep them reasonable so that it's still affordable for families and so on. We keep them here because it's good and it's friendly and it's fast and it's, it's delightful to be in here. And to Candace's point, the smell from the kitchen may convince you to stick around just a little longer. I also asked Candace about the mainstays on the menu. She tells me diners who know what value is will come in from seven to nine to get the early bird special. 350, you know, two eggs, potatoes, and some type of bread. You can get a tortilla. You can roll the eggs and the potatoes up and put some uh, table salsa on it and have a burrito. Everybody gets a Mickey Mouse pancake from me. Oh. She knows all the tricks inside and out of that place. And the burrito, I'm going to take her advice on that. Yeah, too, oh, and those home fries, so good. So another chapter of the restaurant's history, if you know, Frank's has the Francisco's brand that also served lunch and dinner for some time. Well, Candace tells me for now, unfortunately, they're going to focus on keeping Frank's the same great breakfast place it's always been. Just we'll see when that opportunity comes to maybe add the Francisco's part back. Yeah, I mean, Frank's has been such a staple for so long. They're mm -hmm. also a very funny follow on Facebook. Yeah, they're uh, great on social media. They, they stay active, that's for sure. <laughs> Sure. <laughs>